new Leica Captivate software replaces the Leica Viva field software. And with this new generation of software, we've focused on three key things. First is the user experience. So we've integrated features from smartphones, from consumer products that people know and are used to for the first time in an onboard field data collection software. You'll be used to swiping, selecting and choosing data, uh, choosing apps as well and working in the field of apps. There are three main differences on three things that we focused on with Leica Captivate. First is the user experience. You see a modern, enjoyable user interface. Second is 3D. So we've introduced a 3D geospatial viewer which combines all different data sorts from scanning, points, lines, DXF, images. They're all included in one view which is active. You can select the data, you can visualize the data, and you can immerse yourself in the data. And then also we're focused on the basics. So tasks that surveyors and measuring professionals do every day, such as setup, survey and stakeout, are now more efficient than ever. Captivate runs on the CS35 field tablet. It also runs on the CS20 field controller with a five inch display and a QWERTY, full QWERTY keyboard. And Captivate runs on our latest generation of total stations and multi-stations. The MS60 multi-station, the TS60 high precision total station, and the TS16 high end total stations as well. On the total station side, a user can connect a Leica Captivate field controller such as the CS20 or CS35 with his existing TS15 or TPS1200. He can also connect it to third-party instruments and manual total stations as well. The first thing is the new user experience. You have touch technology, swiping as you have with smartphones, and we separate the data here on the top and the applications down the bottom. There's a whole range of applications. In fact, over 50 applications are standard and there's a lot more available to download. So this is a, a Windows 8.1 tablet. We also have the CS20 field controller, which is running Windows uh, uh, C EC7. We don't support Android at the moment. We have chosen uh, Microsoft and, and the Windows operating system. So I can select my data here and for example I can send it via the cloud and via our secure servers with Leica Exchange to the office. I can also download the data from the office straight into the field, directly into the folder structure that I'm used to with Leica Captivate or any of the high-end Leica products. We've also got the 3D view and here it's a really an immersive experience where we see all the data that you've collected DXF background images, uh, also laser scanning information, point clouds, points and line information as well. So we really believe that 3D is not just the future but it's also today. People with an engineering experience in engineering surveying or in a high precision works, in BIM, in rail design, in road design or so, they understand that the third dimension is just as important as the second dimension. So on the total station, we also add imaging. The imaging can be transferred at a high resolution onto the tablet or onto the field controller, but imaging is important for both image-assisted surveying and image-assisted or image documentation. I can use the image to rotate, and move wherever I want yeah. and I can also measure and store an image when I measure a point. So on the, on the total station side, first of all and most importantly is that we've got Leica Captivate running on board. So we have a five inch, a large five inch display with high resolution so you can vert, really immerse yourself in the data. You have access to the data via SD card or USB stick 
And most importantly, with the TS-16, the TS-60 and the MS-60, we've introduced a new generation of automation. So these are the world's first self-learning total stations that react and adjust themselves according to the conditions around them to provide the optimal automation and tracking performance. So with self-learning, we mean that the system adapts to the environment around it. If we're, if we're measuring in a close, close proximity, then the system has different behavior and performs in a different way than, for example, if we're measuring at a distance of 100 or maybe even 200 meters. If it's rainy and foggy conditions, then we can adapt and adjust to provide ultimate and optimal performance in those conditions compared to, for example, a bright and sunny day with lots of reflections. This is still a passive system which doesn't require a powered target, but it provides the ultimate in automation performance.